Boston is getting ready to expand a program that saves lives on the water. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Christina Rex. Paula is off. The city launched a program to help teach more people of color to swim. WBZ's Katrina Kincaid looks at some of the barriers this program works to overcome. According to USA Swimming, 70% of black people don't know how to swim. I think some of those initial barriers were, was access. Access to an actual pool, access to um, maybe going to beaches and being comfortable and being welcome in those environments. The Swim Safely Partnership provides free swim lessons at Boston area YMCAs, especially for people who historically have faced economic and logistic barriers to swim safety training. According to the CDC, drowning deaths for black people are 1.5 times higher than white people, and for black children ages 10 to 14, it's 3.6 times higher. When you look at drowning specifically in swimming pools, that number jumps to 7.6 times higher. I've heard hotels, beaches, various community centers literally were unwelcoming to black people. And I think over time, you believe that and you just don't go and you don't swim. Then there's the issue of swim caps. <sighs> So <laughs> I used to have very long hair, but now it's just right here. And even with this one, you have to find one that works for you. These are regular swim caps. They're made out of latex, but they're not always the best for people who use a lot of products in their hair, or have bigger hair, braids, or weaves. But these are sole caps. Is what the program uses. They're bigger and better for people of different backgrounds and different hair textures. We have had those conversations many, many, many times about this is, you know, here's some shampoos you can use, or this is, you know, maybe have your hair this way so you can put a cap. Despite growing up in Cape Verde, African islands surrounded by water, Erica herself didn't learn how to swim until 11th grade in America. Now she's a well-known swim instructor at the Roxbury YMCA. Swimming is a life skill. I appreciate that I know how to do that, and I've tried to teach as many people as I can. The program originally had space for 300 children and adults to participate. They just received more funding and will now expand to serve 600. Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.